You see the shoulder. That's the shoulder of a dancing man. Woo! Oh my God. Man. Whoa. You don't want to go in the water. I don't want to sleep with the fishes. Oh my God. It's funny that I said sleep with the fishes because uh, this indictment, and I said it once, I've said it many times, ain't no party like an indictment party because an indictment party don't stop. Ah, ain't no party like an indictment party because an indictment party diggity don't stop. Man, three, that's the magic number. That was great, once, twice, three times in indictment, but now we go to four. I like the number four. The reason why I like the number four is it's even. Uh, good things happen in fours, four corners, okay? I always like the number four. Uh, one of my favorite New York Knicks, Daryl Walker from Chicago, used to wear the number four. Uh, who else wears the number four? Brett Favre, another one who's gonna go down. Brett Favre, he wore the number four. Uh, Charles Barkley wore the number four when he was playing for the Phoenix Suns. Four, it's, I like that number four. I had that number a, a couple of times when I was in, in my playing days playing days that's another another good word playing competing winning losing winning and losing had pig Donald Trump accepted the fact that he lost this would have never ever ever happened you wouldn't be in the predicament not to be confused with the indictment that you are in. Now, you are in a pickle and you are being brought up on another nefarious, you're on RICO charges. For those of you who don't know what RICO charges are, I'll explain it, then you could Google it. But have you ever seen the movie Goodfellas? Have you ever watched The Sopranos? Have you ever seen Donnie Brasco? The Godfather, uh, mob films, mob shows. We all love mob shows, but you ain't Tony Soprano, my friend, okay? Nobody actually knew what happened to Tony Soprano at the end of The Sopranos, but we know how this is gonna end up. You, Dane Donald Trump, who will just call Fat Donald. Fat, that, they might be calling him Fat Donald because all mobsters have nicknames. They don't want to use their real names and smart mobsters don't talk on the phone. You spoke on the phone. You asked for votes in Georgia. You said, you said, just give me, we need, I need, 11,000 more votes. You couldn't accept losing. Now let's go back to the winning and the losing. Then we'll go back to the mobster of it all, the Rico act of it all. Sometimes if you win, you win. But other times, if you lose, you still win. If you had accepted the loss like a man, if you had accepted the loss like a man, Fat Donald, instead of a whining, crying, conniving, spoiled, fat, you wouldn't be in this predicament. Remember the movie, The Bad News Bears? They lost, but they celebrated like winners. Tanner, Boilmaker, uh, uh, the whole team celebrated like win, like they, like winners, because even though they lost, they still when they competed, they fought, they played their little butts off. You couldn't accept the loss. You wouldn't accept the loss. You would not accept the Rocky Balboa went 15 rounds with the champ. He lost. 
He accepted the loss and he was better for the loss. He came back the next time and he won. You wouldn't do that. You couldn't understand. Well, people come out to my rallies. Look at the crowd at my rallies. We don't go to Joe Biden's rallies. He's not good live. He's not a good live performer. There's plenty of rappers who I love listening to, but I wouldn't leave the house to go see them live. Okay? There's plenty of performers who I would not leave the house to go see live. Joe Biden is one of them. You're a great live performer. People want to come out to see you live. Doesn't mean you won. You understand? If you win, you win. If you lose, if you play it right, you still win. But you didn't play it right because you're spoiled. Right? Mobster. Now they got you as a mobster. They got you on Rico charges, racketeering on some Genovese Colombo family type Henry Hill and Rico racketeering. Let me explain to you what that is. It's, it's, it's when guys like you, Donald Trump, you send in the cousins, you send in your henchmen, you send in the gavones, the goons, to do your dirty work. You have ran former mayor of the Uni of New York City, Rudy Giuliani, Rudolph Louis Giuliani, into the ground. You had pimping Donald Trump. You pimped Rudy Giuliani. He gave up his entire life, his career, and reputation for you. Pimping Donald. That's who you are. You pimped him. You pimped these other suckers. Jenna Ellis, remember her smiling Jenna? Jenna? We knew you were going down, Jenna. And a bunch of other, a bunch of other suckers. And one of them is gonna turn. See, what we do with the racketeering, what we do with RICO charges, with mob people, just like in the movie Goodfellas. See, Henry Hill wasn't a hero. He was the star of the movie. Uh, uh, he was portrayed beautifully by the great L Ray Liotta, the late great Ray Liotta. And he was shot by Martin Scorsese beautifully. So it made it seem like that was a glorious, glamorous life. That's a life to be a mobster, okay? It's not good. It's never, ever, ever what they show on, the, on TV and movies. You, my friend, Dane Donald Trump, are the greatest mobster in American history. You had an incredible run. You had an incredible run, but now they got you the same, same charge. They got you on the same charges. They brought up the Genovese crime family. You're one of them. You proud of yourself? Fat Donald? Are you proud of yourself? You think your father, Fred Trump, is proud of you? He's kicking and turning in his decrepit old grave, you fat animal, you. So what's gonna happen here on these RICO charges is they got, I believe, 19 people. 19 people have been indicted. One of them, uh, 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 Tre Trevion Cutie. A woman named Trevion Cutie, a quote unquote former publicist for Kanye West. She's one of the people named, along with Rudolph Louis Giuliani. And of course, the first name that they, they laid out was Donald John Trump. Donald John Trump, that's the first thing, because you are the mob boss. You are the leader. You are the, you're a gangster. You are a gang leader. Congratulations, congratulations. So what they're going to do is, ah, I'm imagining one of these uh, people is going to flip on you. And if it was me, Rudy Giuliani, do the right thing. Flip on him like Henry Hill. Point him out in the court, just like Henry Hill did at the end of Goodfellas, which was a movie. It was a movie. Point him out and say, it was him. It was Fat Donald. Fat Donald did it all. Take three to five years, Rudy. Three to five years in jail and send Fat Donald 
away. Send him away. Be the hero you strive to be. When you, the irony of it all, is that Rudy Giuliani made his bones bringing down who? The mob. Rudy Giuliani knows all about RICO charges. He brought down the mob in New York City. The OG real deal. Red sauce eating mob. He brought... Rudy, do the right thing. Turn this fat in, okay? RICO charges. It's, it's so good. <laughs> Woo!